let us have our Dhamma sermon. We are in Dhammapada, stanza number 146. Konuhaso Kimananda Nichang Pajjalati Sati Andakare na Onadha Padipang na Gavisati. In this stanza, giving us a wonderful uh, teachings for us to think about ourselves, think about our life. The meaning is, what is laughter? What is joy? When the world is ever burning, surrounded by darknesses, would you not seek the light? Would you not seek the light? The, the last stanza, last, uh, last sentences of the stanza, asking a question. What is that question? Would you not seek the light? Why you are wasting your time? What you are doing without seeking a light? Why? Surrounded by darkness. Surrounded by darkness. What, what is the mean of this darkness? Ignorance and other defilements. To explain this stanza, I would like to get some information about the Buddha's teaching. According to the Buddha's explanation, the teachings that delivered by the Buddha spent in 45 years time period, Buddha categorized his audience into three baskets. Uggatitanya, Vipatitanya, Nyaya. This categorization coming through the capacity of the listeners. What kind of capacity they have, the audience. These are the capacity. Uggatitanya, Samma, they are. Right away, they can realize the Dhamma. Right away. They don't want to have explanation. They don't want to have any kind of similes to explain that. Right away, they are ripe enough to understand Dhamma. Those peoples are named as a Uggatitanyu. The Pali word is Uggatitanyu. Second group, Vipatitanyu. They need a little bit explanation. Others are nyaya. They need more long explanation. They take more time, longer than time than comparing with other two groups. So, according to these 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 category categories, these categories, the Buddha delivered his sermons. So. His sermon's nature was asada adinava nisarana. His sermons also categorized into three groups because of this nature, because of this mind capacity. Who are Uggatitanyu, they are ripe enough to understand the Dhamma. Right away, without any explanation, they can understand Dhamma. So, Buddha delivered Dhamma for them directly, Nisara. Abandoned or disenchanted. This is the way how Buddha address his audience. Others who are not in that group, who are in the second group, which we call Viparitanyu. Viparitanyu means the second level of mental capacity. When Buddha made them, 
then buddha ready to go with them adinava and nisarana adinava mean the results uh, i mean the painfulness on or suffering and disenchanted disenchanted abandoning buddha delivered dhamma seen their capacity their mental capacity and when the buddha met the nyaya when the buddha met nyaya people who need the similes explanation more and more details then for them buddha delivered dhamma asada adinava nisarana asada mean first buddha ready to explain to them the uh, joy uh, likewise pattakamma sutta sigalovad sutta mangala sutta all these discourses are explaining the benefits of this life particularly as you know in this world we can enjoy thinking of our things likewise atti sukha bhoga sukha anana sukha anavajja sukha these are the comfort that we can enjoy in this world atti sukha means yes i have what i have basic needs i don't need to worry about my basic needs food lodging cloth shelter medicine i don't want to worry about all these things i have so you can be happy thinking of thus yes i have this thinking thus you can be happy not only that atti sukha bhoga sukha using those things using those facilities you can be happy bhoga sukha anana sukha you can be happy thinking the way how you earn this you earn all these basic needs that you needed applying the teachings uh, applying the universal truth respecting the universal truth you did not uh, earn this basic needs doing robbery smuggling and cheating these these are these are not the way that you earn these things you earn all these things following the dhamma all these re- basic requisites that you needed so you can be happy thinking this and the last one anavajja sukha i have all this facilities with me i am enjoying with these facilities but these facilities are not something that i on debt i am not in debt with these facilities so if someone can think if someone can enjoy in this manner this is the ashwad the joyful things that we have in this world who are not able to see the danger of this enjoyments they ready to enjoy therefore buddha is started to give them dhamma explaining about this enjoyment joyful things so just simply take as a mom or dad you can think about your children i have children you are happy about that and also as a children they can think about their parents so i have mom and dad they are happy about that in this moment you can be happy thinking thus i have my mom i have my dad i have my children or my children are very talented you can be happy or they are already graduated from the such a such a universities they are holding such a such a degrees they are doing such a such a jobs you can be happy thinking of this this is the aswad aswad but adinava you 
as a, this is the way how we started this life. Husband and wife, they both get together, having some bondages each other, and they married. But one day, this is the Adi Nava, one day, how much you love each other it does not matter. Someone has to leave. You have to separate one day. There is no any other solution for that. And then both of you having family, then you gave a birth to children, a child. Then one day these parents have to leave from these children or children ready to leave from parents. It's happened. This is the universal truth. This is the this is Adi Nava. This is these are the painful situations, sorrowful situations. These are the reasons to lament it. No one can avoid this. No one can avoid this. Now you can see Ashwada, there is some joy, happiness, but under that happiness, what we can see? Unhappiness is under that happiness. Unhappiness is there. We don't know when, how it's come to us. Unbelievable. Adina is there. And simply you can think about uh, uh, your things, daily things that you are using, your car. You can be happy having a car. Yes, I have a car. You can be happy, think about the, uh, the brand of the car. I have such a such a car. You can be happy. But when you start to use your car, you have to maintain that car. When the gas is run out, you have to put gas. When ready to, when it's need uh, services, you have to go to garage and do services. You have to pay for that. When the parts are losing, then you have to replace the parts. You have to go here and there, find and and sometimes to make arguments with the people. You have to do that. So seeing the seeing decaying that car, what is happening to your mind? Unhappiness is arising in your mind. This is the Adi Nava. Then what would be the solution? Nisarana, disenchanted. Seeing this truth, we should develop our mind. Seeing this truth, we should develop our mind. For what? Nibbidaya, Nirodaya. Disappointing about the nature, the situation that we have, and disappointing of this mundane nature, then we are ready to develop our mind, not to develop attachment, not to develop attachment. Why we have attachment? Because of our ignorance and, uh, and desire or greed. So when you can see the reality. When you're able to see the reality, light is there, then you don't want to develop your greed. You don't want to develop, to see the world through your ignorance. So this is the, uh, the last stage, last step how we can find solution for our matters. So in this particular stanza giving us that, the, in this particular stanza coming to that, uh, to explain the Nisarana. Develop your insight, try to see the reality without developing attachment, without developing greed, hatred and ignorance. How it's? What is laughter? What is joy? 
there is no any moment to be joy there is no any moment to laugh why when the world is ever burning the world is burning what is the world means in here according to the aditya paryaya sutta five sermon i is burning ear is burning nose is burning tongue is burning body is burning mind also burning why why all these bases are burning because through this bases we are ready to take objects pictures sound taste smell and you know uh, mental phenomena all these objects when you are not clear when you are not maintained in clear mind all these objects full of lust rag full of hatred full of desire full of ignorance ragagina dosagina mohagina this is the explanation in aditya paryaya sutta madhyama nikaya 57 because of this polluted mind because of these defilements that you have in your mind we are burning we are burning simply you can see through your experiences you see a beautiful objects outside seeing that beauty, beautiful object taking that as a beautiful something existing outside then put in in your mind what you have a thoughts in your uh, uh, unconsciousness you are creating a thoughts one day to have that picture for you maybe a car maybe a house maybe a flower uh, whatever if you are uh, male you are like to see uh, females if you are female you like to see males this this is the way how lust is increasing in your mind how long you are keeping that thoughts in your mind that long you are burning yourself see yourself think about your experiences focus on your experiences turn to your turn back to you how was your mind if you are taking something as joyful things from outside through your ears nose tongue and all these bases what was the nature nature was you are burning yourself you don't like any changes things that you that you took as a beautiful things you don't like any changes you don't like to see any uh disappointment disagreeable things why you like it you want to keep it to forever but dear friends the natural law is it subject to change no one can stop that no one can stop that it is the nature so is there any moment any things to be happy no there is nothing actual situation is this but in conventional way we can be happy but that happiness is not able to maintain forever that happiness would be only for the short time period so in this existence are asking a question surrounded by darkness we are covered by darkness what is that darkness ignorance in paticca sampada sutta paticca sampada depending on origination explanation this sansarik journey starting because of ignorance avijja paccha sankhara ignorance is the number 
Sankara. I like to give a simile for that to understand how it's come. Take a simple example. You like gold. You like gold, which is coming from earth, but you like better than others, I mean gold. Why? You have concept. Gold are more valuable than any others. Therefore, you are ready to collect as much as you can, uh, as much as you can. Why? You have thoughts. Gold are valuable. Golds are valuable than any others. So, keeping those things, you can be happy. Oh, I have such such, uh, I have this much gold. The value would be such a such a way. You can explain, you can think about yourself and you can talk with others and you can write about that so many ways you can enjoy, but that is not the reality. What is the reality is? What is the difference with gold and rock? Both are coming from earth. What is the difference with this? You can see rocks everywhere, but golds are rare. You can't find everywhere golds. This is the first thing that you can see. But try to see the reality. All golds and stones, rocks, put into the library to do a research with atoms. When all these things divided into atoms, is there any difference with in, in that atoms? Or oh, this is gold atoms, this is uh, uh, rock atoms. Is there any particular way that you can recognize? No. Basic, basic things are similar. There is no difference. Then what is the point to develop your desire thinking of these uh, unpredictable, un, uh, unbelievable, un, I mean, uh, unseen thing? You can't see that really through your naked eyes. To see that reality, you have to go to lab. But your mind is full of ignorance, surrounded by darknesses. So you can't think that much deeper level. You can't see the reality because of that darkness. You ready to give a value for those things, different values for those things. Gold are valuable than rocks. Why? It is a concept created by using the conventional truth, using conventional truth, but it is not the absolute truth. It is not absolute truth. So because of this darkness, we are ready to increase our ignorance. We are ready to increase our desire, not ignorance. Because of this ignorance, we are ready to increase our desire. Not only desire, hatred also. Now you can see avijja pacha sankara. Why the Buddha start uh, depending origination from avijja ignorance. Ignorance is the main roots. Because of this ignorance, we create ourselves all unhappy, unwholesome situations with us. No one else. We are the people who create that unwholesome, unhappy so the situations with us because of our ignorance. We are fighting each other because of ignorance. We are competing each other because of ignorance. We are trying to buy so many unnecessary things because of our ignorance. We are living in this sansaric journey. Overall, we are living in this sansaric journey because of our ignorance. So 
in here the last question asking from this stanza would you not seek the light seeing this reality try to develop your mind to open to see the reality but work against your darkness we have to beat this darkness darkness covering our mind capacity limited in limited limited at our mind because of the darkness we want to go against this limit we want to go against these boundaries you want to be a boundaryless person your thinking capacity will increase in vast when you defeat this darkness when you get rid of this darkness from your mind so would you not see the light still you are not ready to see the light yes seeing this truth anyone can ready to see the lights so without blame in poor darkness let us light a candle benefits for yourself so this is the main guidance teachings that we can get through this stensa this is jaravag persistensa 146 in this stensa keep in your mind few words pajjaliti burning burning eye is burning ear is burning nose is burning tongue is burning mind also and whole body is burning keep in your mind what does it mean think again and again what does it mean why the buddha said uh, your eye is burning why the buddha said your ear is burning this is not the physical burn this burning happening because of our undeveloped mind therefore the word pajjalita second one konuhaso what is laughter what is joy there is nothing to be joy be happy everything creating in this process very very short moment very very short moment king anando there is no any happiness sir. until we finish our darkness until we work against our darkness andakarena padipang light a candle light a candle to get rid of your darkness light lighting candle is our duty our responsibility our obligation as a human beings so let us fulfill this obligation let us work to develop light let us work to develop our insight to get to gain lights to be a bright person see to see the reality seen reality you can be a happiest person because you can get rid of all these defilements from your mind with the help of your lights i think that would be enough for today thank you very much for your participation now we can use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of this merits and meta thoughts may they all have a peaceful happy life may they be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of these merits and metta thoughts may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their pain and un 
happy thoughts and happy moments having that aspiration make make blessings upon them saying sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and metta thoughts may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deeds may i never join with the police may i join always with the wise until the time attain nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the higher realms of existence to the lowers may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much